views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. The following audio is via a Skype call. It's time to believe in your own body, mind, and soul. Thrive by Jen takes you through this next hour to help you release your full potential. Jen has been there when the going gets tough, and she's now here to guide you through your own difficulties and help you thrive too. Jennifer Zellop joins Dr. Pat Basile to provide you excellence in self-development and guidance. Sit back and enjoy because you're about to listen to Thrive by Jen. Now, here are your hosts. Hey, everybody, I'm Dr. Pat. I'm here today with Jen Zellup because why? This is Thrive by Jen. And, you know, I love each month featuring Jen and her amazing work. If you're thinking about what thriving means, today's show is about that. Um, For those of you that know Jen, you know that she is out in the world helping people, body, mind, spirit, get in the kind of shape that they want to get in. Today, it's also a Facebook Live show, which we love doing too. So Jen, tell us about what we got going on in the background there. Oh, this is my, uh, this is inside my gym. So this is an old, old brick wall. This is, uh, I guess we're well about 120 years old. And this was an old factory and there was a huge fire and, uh, but they saved, um, most of the building and now it's a historical building. So it's pretty cool. So it, on the inside, the ceilings are super, super high. Mm-hmm. So it's like, a, it's very lo- lofty, like very, mm-hmm. that lofty feeling. I just saw those biceps right there when you just put up oh. your arms. I know Benny's like, whoa, no, <laughs> there's no way I'm putting up my arms today. I got my tickets to the gun show. Oh, boy. That's what we're doing. We're, we're all over it. Um, and, and, you know, if we really want to treat today, I will, I will pull my little portable stepper that I have in the office, I and I can get off my little stepper during the show today. Um, I love that stepper. Listen, the word thrive has special meaning to you. Why don't we do a recap and tell people what we have been talking about so far and also why this is an important program that you've put together for people. And then today's show is all about the V. Yeah. So Thrive is, it's the foundation. It's like a, uh, you know, if your house is built on a strong foundation, it's it's strong. And our, you know, our bodies are our homes and within our body lies our spirit. So Thrive, uh, T is for trust, H is for heart. R is for resilience, I is for intuition, V is for values, which we'll talk about today, and E is for excellence. And I developed this out of living it. I was, I I wanted more. I wanted, I always searched, like I always felt like I was, I was, um, I don't know, like what was my purpose? Why was I, why was I here? And I wanted life to mean something and I wanted every day to mean something. I didn't want to go through blinders on and I didn't want to go through angry. I I didn't want to feel a resentment. So these were all emotions that I was dealing with. And I said, you know, there's got to be a better way. So that's how Thrive was born. And then I was like, wow, I'm, I'm like, if you, if you live this way, if you do these things, if you do these activities to establish trust and establish heart life really is better life life is thriving so it's and it was something that I just felt passionate to share with everybody well and you know today we're going to talk about values and you know what I think that for me I'm getting a big dose of this in my own life and as a team you know we're looking at what are the most important things to us what do we want to create for the next five years you know, what is it that we're building that we can invite the world in to take a look at and see? Yes. And you, you know, Jessica, right? So yeah, you work I love with Jessica. Jessica, right? Uh, yeah. You just, Justin's here doing the video, Benny, of course, Christina, the social media, Linda doing what she does. But then there's another layer of us, the people that are in the background, the reason why we're even here, mm-hmm. Michael, Megan, Emery. Anita, you know, these are the people, uh, 
Tyler pretty soon. Um, these are the people that are in the background that are looking at what all of you have asked for. And somehow we sit down and we say, here's, here's an issue. Uh -huh. Our host wants some help with the content on how they bring themselves into the world. And you uh -huh. know what? They're super busy. So what can we do? So we've got this think tank of people. So for us, what we value uh, really at the top of the list is service to all of you, but uh -huh. creative ideas to get there. And that I think I hadn't thought about it until today's uh -huh. show. What is it that that you do to help people discover mm -hmm. what values are important? Well, it's it's what what makes you happy? What do you like? What do you want to do? What is it that that brings you joy? And so just to give some examples is um, if and and what's a priority so really that right what what are your priorities what's i i say what's important <laughs> because we lose sight of that so we say and here, here's an example we we say that family is a priority and family is important and family is a value so but we let's just say we we we, we kind of misdirect right we misdirect where we put that energy so let's say we buy this great big beautiful home and we have beautiful things and we have a lot of them and we we put a little bit more emphasis on on, on material things well we see we're doing it for family but sometimes family suffers Right. Maybe it requires us to be at our work longer than we would like to be. Maybe it um, gives us it, it takes away time from that family. Mm -hmm. So even though that's a value of ours, our yeah. energy gets misdirected. But then yeah. if you if you took a moment and said, wait a minute, here, family is my value. It's my mm -hmm. number one value. Yeah. So now all of a sudden you realize that spending time with them is what's important. So now maybe you downsize maybe you downsize maybe you work you cut back on your work maybe you you can spend more time with them so it's it's like navigation it's like navigation for us yeah you know I was having this conversation family is important and you know you know I was telling Linda that I just loaded the cd from uh, a friend of my uncle Ralph and Aunt, Aunt, Aunt Lee, who passed away. Aunt Lee passed away oh, about a year or so ago, and Ralph a couple of years before that. And in my family, um, Ralph had hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pictures. And we don't have any in our family on my dad's side that represent the early years of my childhood because my mom died in a fire, and the fire burned everything up yeah. right so I got these pictures and I was sharing them with Linda and I realized how long I've known Linda and her family and know so much about them yeah. and how little that I've been able to share about my family because I've had no reference point right yeah. and yeah. so we have to decide at different points in our life don't we What's going to make it to the top yeah. of the list? But don't you find mm -hmm. sometimes things change? Mm -hmm. Like I know it's at the top of my list oh, yeah. today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. In fact, I talk about that in the in Thrive. We say, I think this is something you should do every six months. I think you should sit and reevaluate. And I take you through a little exercise about um, – uh, simply, uh, I'll give you an example. It's yeah. uh, here. Here's an example. I want to get married and have three kids. Well, family's a value, right? I want to go to church weekly, so God is a value. And then you could say, I want to be the president of my company, so work is a value. So, in six months, maybe things all of a sudden you realize that. Uh, you know what, this isn't the company that I thought I'd be in. I want to open up my own business. So now all of a sudden it becomes a different value. There's different priorities. Maybe something has changed within your family or maybe there's a move coming up. So mm. we're always, things are always changing. And that's why this is something you should evaluate at least every six months. 
Well, you know, one of the things, too, is what role do these values play in our lives? I know that for people that are out in the world and women now are starting their own businesses left and right. Well, look at us two right yeah. here. Right. Yeah. And they're yeah. starting their business left and right. And sometimes we say, well, wait a minute. I like to put relationship and family first. But then mm-hmm. at the same time, we're we said yes to starting businesses. Yes. And so yes. we can't, as we say, do it all. This whole idea about balance. I just do, I'm not a fan. Balance is something I gave up on. Women, I'm talking to you. You can call me and email me on this. I traded balance for harmony. Because Mm -hmm. I tried for years to create balance. And what I realized is I don't want to do some things equally with others. So rather than balance, I had to say harmony. You know, how can you get all the pieces working together? You know, it's like gears. Have you ever seen gears? All of the gears are not the same size. Hello, we got big gears and we got little gears, but they all work together, right? That's right. That's right. You know, you're so right. And going back to your example is, and I'll be very transparent, is that so a value family is a value for me. So but here's where you 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 need to have those values in front of you. They're like goals. You have them in front of you where you can see it because I can easily say, look, look, kids, I started my own business and I'm doing this for you. Right. That's a big common um, we like to, we're, we're taking on something that we feel is going to better someone else or better our family, but it's, it's out of my own selfishness. I love having my own business. So I can easily get caught up and all of a sudden be working in my business way more hours than I should be and say, well, I'm doing it for the kids because this family is a value of mine when really my children are clamoring to have attention from me. So having those values in front of you is, is it's extremely important because it's that constant reminder of Mm -hmm. your, it's your daily guide. It's, it's Mm -hmm. your guide. And just like you said, I I love the word harmony. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to steal that from you. I'll, I'll absolutely give credit for it, but you're so right because there's going to be a time in your life where, right. Even, even daily where Mm -hmm. today may be 80% work, and 10% health and 10% family, but then maybe Wednesday is a day to take mm-hmm. the whole entire day with the family and spend family time. Well, we're going to take a short part. Yeah, we're right, going to take a short break. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to talk about that because one of the things that you do, and this is what your business is about, you know, you help people stay fit because what we have right now, we have a crisis and the yeah. crisis is we do not look at our wellness, our health as something that's of high value. You know, we don't look at, wow, I know I shouldn't be eating that, but I'm eating it anyway. Wow, I'm not moving my body. I know I should do it. I'm not doing it. So how do we get our uh, get our values in order before mm-hmm. our value we get into a value crisis where now we have a value that we're not paying enough attention to and boy is it showing up differently yeah. right yes. all yes. right thrive by gen radio we're going to take a short break we'll be right back to the Psychic Professors Show, The Voices of Spirit Radio, with international medium and spirit artist Dr. Susan Barnes on Transformation Talk Radio. Featuring a variety of spiritual topics such as psychic art, spiritualism, EVP, psychic development, and mediumship. This hit call-in show provides listeners with breakthrough wisdom to enliven and enlighten their lives. Visit spiritartgallery.net for show days and times. 
On the cutting edge of the new mainstream, Christine Upchurch is passionate about bringing together science, psychology, and spirituality in a way that can be applied to our everyday lives for true transformation. The Christine Upchurch Show, stellar conversations to illuminate your journey, engages some of the most outstanding visionaries on the planet in lively dialogue to inspire you to become that bright light you're meant to be. Join Christine every Friday at 11 a.m. Pacific Time on KKNW, AM 1150, and Transformation Time. Talk Radio. Tune in to The Jen Royster Show, intuitive guidance to inspire your life, each Thursday at 8 a.m. Pacific and 11 a.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com. This amazing show is an inspirational hour that will take you on an epic metaphysical journey to discover the spiritual approach to life's greatest challenges. Dr. Jen is an internationally known intuitive counselor, spiritual teacher, and energy healer. Call in for intuitive readings and visit jenroyster.com for more information. What is a brilliant culture and how do we create them? Why are they important? Claudette Rowley has created a breakthrough five-step process to help you design a culture that is authentic, innovative, and successful. Learn how to create change with Cultural Brilliance Radio, the DNA of organizational excellence and Claudette Rowley. To learn more or work with Claudette, Visit ClaudetteRowley.com. Are you tired of being bloated and nauseous? Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. Did you know eating unhealthy foods eventually leads to an unhealthy digestive system? Did you know eating the most healthy, nutritious food doesn't necessarily result in a healthy body? The stomach must be healthy in order to properly digest, metabolize, and utilize even the best of nutrition. Without proper digestion from the stomach through the intestinal tract, the nutritious value is not absorbed and the improperly digested food can be more toxic to your body than helpful. You can be doing all the right things and getting all the wrong results. In fact, other organs may also be interfering with your stomach's ability to digest. Contact us today for your appointment at 888-777-4232. That's 888-777-4232. Or visit us at MaryJaneMack.com. Hey, everybody. This is Thrive by Jen. Jen Zellup. I'm Dr. Pat. We do this show every month because why? We would love for all y'all to thrive in life. Today, we're talking about the V. And thrive. Mm-hmm. But before we do that, Jen, how can people find out more about you? I know you coach people all over the world. What is mm-hmm. the best way for folks to find out more about you? Uh, they can visit me at Jennifer Zellup, or you're welcome to find me on Facebook at Jen Zellup and just reach out to me. I would love to hear from you. Awesome. Listen, values. Um, mm-hmm. Well, let's talk about what role they play. You know, what I said during the break was super important because I'm one of these people that I've been physically fit all my life and then I wasn't and then I got sick and then I really wasn't. And so Mm -hmm. my value shifted. And, you know, for me, Mm -hmm. I was an athlete most of my life, played softball a lot. Uh, But but I must say, true confessions, I also partied Mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. I partied a lot. There was, you know. Yeah. You know, you you don't get, you know, party and patty as a nickname for nothing. Okay. (laughs) I'm just saying here on the show. Um, Now, not so much. Party and patty is not happening today. But even so, we have to figure out what role these values are going to play or they will be misaligned. We will not be in harmony. You you will not be in harmony. and, And honestly, you'll just be kind of going through life. You won't, you know, if you can look back on your, it's funny, I I love that nickname, but on your partying days, right, you're, you're, you were putting a little bit too much emphasis, right, on that partying. So there was no, (laughs) there was no harmony. And when we establish our values, I think you, you bring up a great point. What is that we are easily distracted, right? Human beings are extremely easily distracted, so all of a sudden, let's say um, I'm with you and, and you become my best friend. My value is, is working out, right? Nutrition and, and working out. Let's use that example. And all of a sudden you and I connect and we start spending a lot of time together. Your values are different 
now if if I'm not true to my values or I don't even know what my values are, now all of a sudden your values will start to linger into my life. And I'll start getting distracted by your values and doing things that you like to do or doing things that you want to do or being influenced by you. And not in a bad way. It's just that this is how we get off course, right? This is how we get off course. If if somebody comes to me and says, health is a value, okay, so share with me why every day when it, oh, an excuse comes up or you get distracted or you go and do something else. Yeah. So this well, is. Yeah. Listen, let's talk about that. Let's stop and take a breath right there. Let's stop and take a breath because you said the magic word <laughs> distracted. Yeah. Right. So what does it mean? Tracked. Right. Yeah. Tracked. Traction. Traction yeah. in life. Hello. Distraction. Yes. Distract. Yes. I mean, let's stop yep. and talk about that because. We hear 24-7 about all the distractions. Mm-hmm. We got to deal with them. Otherwise, our value then becomes our distractions. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It's, you know, I, I get that common in my clients is that they're, it's, it's distractions. It's this, it's all of a sudden they have, should I start next month because I have three parties this month? Should I start, you know, maybe next week? because I'm going on vacation this week or I'll start next month because I'm going on vacation this month. But this is life, right? Vacations happen. Parties happen. That stuff doesn't go away unless you become that person that all of a sudden for the sake of, of getting your health back, you're, you're going to eliminate, you know, all contact with people. Right. And that's just not realistic. Parties happen. And, and especially too, if, if, if this is part of your value system, right? Family, friends, Fun is a value system. You you don't want to push all that side. It's what you said. You bring it into harmony, but you can't let distractions distract you. You can't let it take you away from your path. Right. You know, one of the things that I love about this and the work you do, you really help people align their vision, their goals, which we've talked about before. You know, you help them align that with their value systems because it does take an outside person to say to us, wait a minute, the reason that thrive and thriving is not coming into your life is because we got to take a look at this area over here. You know, we Mm got to take a look and see, wait a minute, what the heck are we doing? Mm -hmm. And, you know, why if we're doing it, we don't change it. But then isn't that the problem? It's not that easy to align our values and then make a change, is it? No, change isn't easy. It, you have to want it. And I just had this conversation this morning with, with a client is that you have to want to feel better more than how you feel right now. And this doesn't – I don't want to mislead anybody, Pat. This doesn't go away, right? This doesn't – this doesn't – this isn't a magic – like all of a sudden, like for me, I, I live every day the Thrive Foundation. I, there's still curveballs, right? Mm-hmm. But this – now I can get through those curveballs. I had a curveball today. I, Did you? I, um, I, I, it just was – it was a very – Two people responded in an extremely negative way, and I did not see it coming. Coming, yeah. I was blindsided, and so. But because I have my values, I, I I've done the right thing. I've um, I live in peace. I live from the heart. I can take that negative situation and put it where it needs to go, and rather than having it kill a day it can take five minutes from me or it can rob one minute from me or it can, you know, you know, depending upon the severity of the situation. And that's, that's part of thriving. So I can't let, a, that's a distraction though as well. That's a distraction. So I could, right. I could throw the whole day away and say, I can't work out. I can't eat. I can't eat. I can't fuel my body properly. I can't spend time with my kids. I can't, I can't, I can't, oh I can't. Right. For the, for, for the behavior of another person. But that happens every, right? People affect us, impact us on a daily basis. And, and again, that's what I mean by distractions is you can't let that deter you. Yeah. You know, it's really interesting we're using this word. I, I, I coach people. And like you, I coach people from all over the world. And we sign an agreement early on. 
And one of the agreements we sign, I say agreements about that. The, I sign agreements about what's important to them, what they want me to do or not do. Uh, and we negotiate like how we're going to work together. So on my side of it, I have a list of words that we both have to agree not to use. Yeah. The word number one at the list can't. What? That is the word. It's on yes. the list. Yes. It is a zero tolerance zone. The word can't is a zero tolerance zone. But you know, what I, what I love is working compassionately re- with people because here's what I discover. And I had to discover it for myself. I didn't have another word for it. I didn't have another word for can. You know, we, you know uh, the, those of us that work with other people, we just think, well, wait a minute. Everybody kind of has had the potholes we've stepped in. Folks may not have another word for can't. What might another mm-hmm. word be here? I'm not there yet. It's uh, you know, I, I haven't, I haven't made it there yet. I'm, I'm not there. In fact, it's so interesting you brought that up because this morning the, um, the <laughs> trainer asked me to do something that I have a fear of doing. It's, it's, it's throwing myself up against the wall and going upside down. And it's just, it's a, it's, I haven't, I'm just not there yet. And yeah. this, this morning I'm just in my brain. I'm like, I'm just not here yet. I'm just not here yet. And, and so it's so different than saying the word I can't because right. Can't is you can say that word and right away, it's like you slump down. It's oh yeah. Like, you know, oh, yeah. you just, it changes, it changes your body language. Yeah. Again, that, that's you, up there with the word why for me. But another way though, if you're looking at it, what I hear you saying, Jen, is I'm just not there yet. I'm mm-hmm. not there yet. I will get there. I'm just mm-hmm. not there yet. That's really different. That's different mm-hmm. language. You know, I'm just mm-hmm. not there yet. You, you know, I had to learn uh, because I, I've had some tough, co- I got to tell you, I, I work with some tough people. You know, mm-hmm. the coaches that I work with today, they have a zero toler- tolerance when I start to argue for my limitations. Mm-hmm. They are so kind, but really don't. So they're like, no, Pat, listen, you know, that thing you're just talking about right there. Let me just explain something to you about that thing. That thing is you choosing Mm -hmm. not to do it. And then I argue about Mm -hmm. that, Jen. I'm like, no, no, I'm not. (laughs) And they're like, well, wait a minute. Choosing is freedom. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'm choosing to Mm -hmm. eat that entire pizza today. So leave me alone. That's right. That's right. You know, it's so I love that you say that because I say the same thing with with my clients is that choose is a very powerful word. And I when I coach them with food, I'm a big believer in in um, balance, which I, I'm now going to change that word to harmony. But I'm <laughs> I, I'm a big believer in that. And when you say I choose to not exercise today, then at least you can own that. Yeah. Rather than I can't, yeah. I can't make it today. I can't exercise today. I can't do it. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. there's a, it's total different body language and, and it'll start to move you, you know, choosing to do something right. Also aligns with your values. Mm-hmm. If, if, if my value is my health and I'm choosing not to exercise today, I'm basically right. I'm choosing not to honor a value of mine. Oh, isn't that, let's talk about that when we come back. We're going to take a short break. How do we juggle our values? And Mm -hmm. the question really is, is that the best way to go about this juggling? What does it mean to juggle our values? And the next thing is, what is the roadmap? How do our values get us to the Mm -hmm. place we ultimately want to go? How do we get Mm -hmm. there? What's the roadmap? Jen Zellips in the house. We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. If you're one of the millions of Americans suffering from anxiety, you probably know how powerless and out of control this emotion can make you feel. This is why it is so important to remember that anxiety is created by your mind, which means that you can learn to use your mind to uncreate it. 
Hello, my name is Dr. Friedman Schaub. My award-winning book, The Fear and Anxiety Solution, provides you with a step-by-step -step breakthrough process to understand and resolve the root causes of your anxiety and build a solid foundation of confidence and inner peace. If you're ready to take your power back, visit thefearandanxietysolution.com. That's thefearandanxietysolution.com or call 866-903-6463. That's 866-903-MIND. Do you want to heal your body and mind? Your body has a lot to tell you if you just learn to listen to your intuition. Audrey Michelle, host of Rewired Life Radio, can help you peel away the layers that are holding you back from living your best life. Tune in to Rewired Life Radio. Learn to love, heal, celebrate on Transformation Talk Radio every Wednesday at 12 p.m. Pacific, 3 p.m. Eastern. Connect with Audrey at AudreyMichelle.com. Tune in to the Psychic Professors Show, the Voices of Spirit Radio, with international medium and spirit artist Dr. Susan Barnes on Transformation Talk Radio, featuring a variety of spiritual topics such as psychic art, spiritualism, EVP, psychic development, and mediumship. This hit call-in show provides listeners with breakthrough wisdom to enliven and enlighten their lives. Visit spiritartgallery.net for show days and times. Known for his keen sense of humor, contagious smile, and extensive esoteric wisdom, EJ translates deep spiritual wisdom into practical advice to empower you to live your happiest, most fulfilled experience. Mystic Living Radio, deep spiritual wisdom, practical advice with EJ, Eliyahu Gian. This hit show delivers profound experiences for all who want to live life to their deepest desires. Tune in monthly for Mystic Living Radio. Learn more by visiting Vital Transformation. Org. How would you like increased health and vitality? How would you like to avoid the onset of disease as well as slow the aging process? This is all possible through a simple, safe, and natural process. Every day we are either moving toward wellness or away from wellness. Hi, I'm Mary Jane Mack. I'd like to be your partner in achieving optimal health. Contact me now at MaryJaneMack.com or call 425-392-0659. Visit MaryJaneMack.com. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's great to have you tuning us in and turning us on. Jen Zellip is in the house. We're talking about values. In the word thrive, mm -hmm. T-H-R-I-V-E, it is the V. And it's part of a process and a model that Jen has developed. She works with all of her clients through it. And what we were talking about, Jen, really is how we actually learn from our own process development, because mm -hmm. this is really one. So how do we figure out, um, how do we figure out what our values are? How do we figure that out? Think of, write down what's important to you. So start with a big list. It could be, it could turn out to be a hundred things, but you want to take it a little bit step further. What's not only important, but what does it look like? So maybe um, service is important to you, but what does service look like? Service could be volunteering on a monthly basis. So on your list would go volunteering on a monthly basis service. Then family is, would be a value for, for me, but what does that look like? So family for me is a about picking my kids up from school every day or, dro or dropping them off every day, um, spending Saturdays and Sundays at their lacrosse games. So write down what it looks like to you. So you have that picture, you have that vision. Same thing with maybe adventure is a value for you. What does that look like? That maybe looks like going on five trips a year. And let's take the last one. Let's say uh, work, work ethic is a value for you. So being successful in work. But again, write that, write what that looks like to you. Does it look like, are you, do you own your own business? Are you the CEO? Are you one of the, you know, in a top position in the company that you work for? Again, writing what that looks like. And then after you take your whole list, you're going to work with your top 20. You're going to look at your top 20 
whittle it down and then take your take your tw top 20 values and that gives you uh, uh, it's starting to give you the picture of what you want your life to look like then from that top 20 i want you to prioritize you got to go one through 20 one being the most important and 20 being i don't i don't want to say the least important but 20 being there but certainly not as important as as 15 as 10 and as one and then those top five to 10 values you're going to work with and you're going to start to incorporate that into your life. That's living your life. That's going to start taking into your schedule. So now you have a plan. If, if, if volunteering twice a month is a value for you, you're going to then go seek out and, and mark on your calendar two times during the month that you're that you're going to volunteer. Think about too, just using that example, I, like be in your heart for a minute and be in your, your feelings. We, so many people, right, Pat, we, what's important to you? What service is important? I, I want to, I want to help right. the world. I, I want to do this. I want to do that. Well, what's your plan? Right. What do you, what are you going to do? You, it, it could, three months go by, four months go by and not, Thing, you don't do anything to fulfill that need inside of you. Yeah. And that's, and that's again, and that's how distractions happen. That's how we lose sight. Th those are the conversations that you have with somebody that they say, I'm lost. I don't know what I want. I don't know what to do. I don't know. My day gets away from me. So these values and what they look like start to form your days, which turn into your weeks, which turn into your months. So now let's using the adventure. If if you are at say adventure for you is a number two on your values list. Yeah. But let let's say being the CEO of the company it is number three on your values list. Well, now all of a sudden that you realize that you're you're working towards becoming the CEO of your company, but CEOs maybe in the first few years can't get away five times a year. Oh boy, no, no, that doesn't right. happen. Right. So now all of a sudden you're like, oh, all right, let's shift this a little bit. Like it's really important for me to, 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 to be adventurous and maybe I need to knock this down to two amazing trips a year. And it's really important for me to become the CEO. But there's a plan, right? Mm -hmm. Things just don't you're not you're not throwing it out there to the air for it to all work out. There's 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 a, a reason behind your actions, which then you start to you start to yeah, I think yeah, I think what you're saying about you start this starts to feel good. Yeah. I know. What you're saying, it's really funny because I love to play table tennis and one of the folks that was on the show not too long ago uh had a tournament in Italy where she lives. Now, I've always wanted to go to Italy. Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking, well, how can I do something from a business point of view so that it gets me over there and getting over there I get to play table tennis and I get to my home country. And so now I'm thinking of how to integrate business, adventure, and table tennis, which I love. But isn't that part of it? We have to learn how to be more resourceful with our creativity. Yeah. We, to be honest with you, I don't think we tap into – you know, uh, we tap into a very small amount of our creativity and we're creative beings. We're literally, literally creative beings. And we've given that up. We become instead of creation, we're reaction. So we react, we react to the day, we react to circumstances, we react to situations, we don't create. So if I, if I'm, busy creating and creating my life, I don't have time to react. I'm, yeah. I'm too busy creating. And then same thing with you with creating this, this, this dream to come true. Now, all of a sudden you shift things, right? Now you shift your plan. Now you move things around rather than reacting, right? If your friend calling you up and saying, Hey, can you, you know, can you come to Italy next week? And you're like, <laughs> oh, you know, there's just so much going on. And then all of a sudden you're like, I want to go, I, 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 but this is here and this is there. So you're reacting. And when we react, you feel that, right? All of a sudden that it's like in the pit of your stomach. It is. You're right. It doesn't feel good. I mean, you can feel it constrict, don't you mm -hmm. think? Right? Absolutely. Because the idea of reacting is, is like, what's the other word? Emergency slash crisis. 
Yeah. Right? Don't they all kind yeah. of fit in the same bucket? Oh, totally. Totally. In fact, it's, um, I was listening to, uh, um, to a book this weekend and in the book they talk about, right? Creation is just taking the C and moving it to the middle and that's how you get reaction. So we've become this, uh, like, right? Everything is an emergency, especially you get a text message now and someone's like, then texts you five minutes later and says, you didn't respond to my text message. It's been five minutes. And so it's that, again, it's the reacting, it's the, um, it's, but if you create and you have your values in place and that, and your day is around your, around your values, you can simply say, you know what, for, for a value could be responding to, you know, you're not going Going to create, you're not going to create this emergency situation. So a value that's important to you is I work with people who they respond to emails at 8 a.m. and they respond to emails at 4 p.m. And that's their, and, and that's how they function because for them, it's a very important value for them to be present during the day. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all of this goes back to what we were involved. talking about. Yeah, this doesn't this go back to what we were talking about earlier is we are so good, Jen, at compromising that we don't know how to synthesize. We we don't think about let's compromise because that this is the problem with balance, right? Balance mm-hmm. means everything is like equally operate, you know, like that, right? Let's have a balanced meal, right? Right? Yes. There's like a whole program about balanced yes. meal. It's like eat this amount of these green things, eat this amount of this, eat this amount of this, right? And yet I am somebody who if I ate that little teeny piece of protein, game over. That would just not work for me. Yes. But at the same time, you got to make it harmonious. You've got to be able to get all the gears working, the big gears, the little gears, the teeny gears, the gigantic gears. They have to all turn in a way they connect with each other. And isn't Mm -hmm. that what you're talking about? It's helping people know that you have to plan that. You know, people that build Mm -hmm. watches and have all those gears, they have to plan that. Mm -hmm. It, I, that's what I'm hearing you say. You work with people and say, wait a minute, folks, we're going to see how we can plan this entire thing. And even ha- have more fun with it. Change the word plan and use create. Yeah. It's create. I you like know, that it's, so, it's so powerful. And people look at you with, you know, crazy eyes when I say that I create my life. I create that that's what I do. And when things, you know, and part of creating life is, is change and and that scares that right change can be scary so part of creating though is it's growing it's it's developing it's 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 moving into the next phase a new phase a new adventure and so that's that's amazingly powerful almost mm-hmm. um there's the quote right the quote is the thing that that scares us the most is really that we're more powerful but than beyond our means yeah and it's and it's true we have we have that that power but you know just getting off topic a little bit but what's the fear around it what if we're wrong right yeah well well well, let's stay off topic and skip the break because what if we are wrong let's continue this because this is really i think one of the key elements to the work that you do as well and that is how do we get in touch with that energy, that force around this topic mm-hmm. where there is no mistake? If we live from our heart, there is no mistake. We're, 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 not, we're not wrong. We're not wrong. Whereas there's, I mean, even right, we, I mean, you and I can, I, we can compare extenuating circumstances that have happened to us and I wouldn't, I wouldn't change any of that. I wouldn't mm-hmm. change anything that has, that has happened. And, but for me, my belief, I trust. And that's where the T comes in. I trust that things happen the way that they, that they're supposed to happen. And I've taken from every single life experience. And for me, living from the heart, there is no wrong. There's, there's mm-hmm. no wrong. So 
uh, I just keep going further and further with that and living from the heart. And, and then the trusting is the way the universal energy works is now you're throwing out there, right? Because you have your values now. You're throwing out there what's important to you. So now let the universe come together and make that stuff happen. Make that, you know, a value for me was, was, was sharing my message to the world. Next thing I know, right, I'm in a conversation with you. That was, right. that, that was the universe bringing that together. So for me, how can it be wrong if, if living from my heart means I, I, you know, I would like to, to change the world and better the world. So same mm-hmm. thing, same thing with, with everyone. Your creation is mm-hmm. create from the heart and, and it's, it won't be wrong. You know, one of the things I want to say is that part of this is uh, being able to look at what's working in your life, look at what's not working. And I like to look at for myself, what are my underlying beliefs around both? What are my beliefs Mm -hmm. about the stuff that's working? But also, what are my beliefs about the things that are not? And for years, Jen, I thought, you know, I thought for myself that I was a one person show early on. Mm. It was, it was actually me and Benny. It was me and Benny for like years and years and years, me and Benny, me and Benny, me and Benny. And I would, Benny remembers, I would come into the studio (laughs) and I would bring these binders in because I had done so much studying on the people I was interviewing and the research. And even on a good day, I may not even flip the page because at some point I learned to trust the process more. Um, Isn't this the same when we're looking Mm -hmm. at pulling the values forward and -hmm. allowing them to grow that we have to trust Mm -hmm. ourselves in that process. And sometimes we have to put on, we got to put earplugs in. So we are not listening to a Mm -hmm. lot of the people in our lives. I think. Absolutely. There's so all the time, you know, unless somebody, unless somebody's cheering for you, I, I don't even, it's one thing to call up a friend. I mean, I, that's why I love coaches, right? Even coaches mm-hmm. have coaches because yeah, you yeah, call yeah. them up oh, and yeah. they're your, they're your check. They're your checks and balances oh, and, yeah. and just saying like, look, I have this idea. Uh, let's talk it through. But I would, if a coach said to me, that is absolutely the worst thing I've ever heard. You should not do that. I would get a different coach mm-hmm. because that's not, that's not the role for them. That's, and that's not the role for a friend even. That's if your heart is, is, re, is telling you to do something, then that's what you follow and that's mm-hmm. what you need to follow. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm with you. You, you, create you have the power and the ability to create the life that you want and just let's do it I mean it's so it's so amazing it's so I you know if you you closed your eyes and could picture it it's sparkly and glittery Mm -hmm. and 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 everything and everything wonderful with you know bright lights and everything that's that's creation I love it. Now, listen, there are ways that people I have. I know I have coaches. I know you and I wouldn't even be talking to each other, Um, you know, and I, I think it's important to find the coaches that you could work with to look at what they're doing and, you know, look at how they're getting there. Now you are working with people uh, all over the world. Can you tell folks, first of all, um, what's involved with them contacting you, getting to know you as well as working with you, because this is, this is part of it. It's one thing to take our message out into the world. It's another thing to work with somebody to reach our goals. Uh, How can people Mm -hmm. find out more about you and tell us a little bit uh, about how they can work with you? Sure. So you can reach me at jenniferzellup.com or you can send me an email at jenniferzellup at yahoo.com. And working with me first, we we do look at nutrition and exercise because that's yep. our foundation. That's our, you know, our we get one body and, and yeah. we need to take care of it. And a lot of this, a lot of these thoughts and these processes when it has to get through 
a, a lot of a big toxic base, mm-hmm. it just is going to delay the process and it's going to take a lot longer. Thriving takes a lot longer without having that that foundation oh, yeah. of, of, of good health. So we would work with health, with uh, nutrition and exercise. And then I work with you on your soul. We, we mm. go through the we have the Thrive program. We have exercises for each action steps, I like to call them, that develop trust and develop heart and, and resilience, all the foundations of, of Thrive. And then you start living it because as these, these action steps are about doing it, about living it and, it, and it develops. So you go through the action steps and then all of a sudden you're like, wow, like my resilience is pretty strong. Like I just, mm-hmm. I, where did that come from? And it's, it's, so it's going through the action steps and, and people, people were asking me, they kept saying, Jen, what's the instruction manual for living a, a, a great life? What's the instruction manual for? I want an instruction manual. Just tell me what to do. And that's what Thrive is. Thrive is the instruction manual for living your Thrive life. And you get to create it. You get to, that's, you get to, you get to do that. And that's part of your values. Values is creating life that you desire. Mm -hmm. You know, what I love about this is I I set a goal for myself um, and I really do love playing table tennis. You know, I, you know, you all are asking me to put pictures up of, of, I I only have a couple table tennis pictures, but of my youth, but I'm playing now. And I set a goal for myself. Here's what I realized in order for me to reach the goal, the table tennis goal, I have to have a sub goal. Because mm-hmm. what I'm realizing is I need to build up strength in parts of my body that I just don't have enough strength. And without mm-hmm. doing that, I'm not going to reach the goal. And I could get all frustrated about it, but I have to have a sub goal. That I think is what you're talking about. You know, when we talk mm-hmm. about Thrive, T H R I V E, each of those has its own set of success practices. Mm-hmm. And when you put it yes, all together, absolutely. yeah, mm-hmm. the goals and the sub goals and the higher goals and, you know, goals, a strange word. I liked the word success. I'm looking yeah. for successes in my life. Right. Yeah, yeah and absolutely. I started out by being able to play 20 minutes. I said, I, I want that success. Mm-hmm. So isn't this part of it helping us achieve mm-hmm. success in doing yes. things we love? Absolutely. And, and, and it's, it's right. It's, it's not like it's all of a sudden your success of, of playing for 20 minutes. It's not like all of a sudden this big hammer comes down and says, <laughs> ah, it's you are now <laughs> capable of 20 minutes. All of a sudden one day you were probably playing and 22 minutes went by and you're like, whoa, like what? Like, I feel good. Like where, right. like, where did that come from? Right. But it was from everything that you were doing leading up to it. And the same thing happens here is that people, all of a sudden, you're living your Thrive life. You put these little, you've done these exercises, these action steps, and you could go fast or you could go slow. But I, I will promise you this, even doing one action step enhances your life. Yeah. It changes yeah. your life and yeah. it moves you to, to, to closer to your thrive life. And so, so all of a sudden you wake up one day and you're like, I feel better. Like things are different. Yeah. I can't explain it, but I just feel better. Yeah. Uh, the other thing is, let's just be really clear about something, you know, at least for me, I'm sorry. I got to wash dishes and do laundry. Yeah, I I am not having somebody rolling in the house these days, although Dee Dee does take good care of keeping my house in order every other week. But other than that, you know, I don't have somebody like, oh, honey, I'm going to do your dishes. No, honey is talking to honey because honey got to do our own dishes. That's what's going on. Right. It's so So, true. We do that. So we stay current. And you've yeah. got to stay current with the details in your life. And I think mm-hmm. we're going to talk more about that in the next show, right? Yes, absolutely. Yes, wow. that's for excellence. It's about, it's about um, in fact, my coach gave me the, um, the, the, the uh, I don't want to say job. It was the, the, the enhancement to my life about 
always raising the bar. And I'll share that with you guys next time. It's oh, about good. Dal daily raising raising the bar. Okay. Well, uh, you know, I like your coach because my coach, my coach is like, I'm giving you this task to do. You need to do it, honey. It, yeah. <laughs> Enhancement. What is that word? I don't know who your coach is. Uh oh, my coach is probably <laughs> listening to this show right now thinking, nope, you ain't going to fire me. Well, listen. That's right. I have a team of people to help support my vision. Have I always had that? No, I had to take risks and chances. You being on this show with me, Facebook Live, all of the above, both of us have said yet to, yes to our vision, but it's the action that's getting us here, Jen. Thank you for all that's that right. you do. Personal message, what do you want to thank leave us so with? Thank you so much. Just... Write down what's important to you. Even even talk about it with your family. Talk about it with your loved ones. Talk about it with your coworkers. Just talk about it. Just know it. Uh, I, I'm going to leave with everybody tw the top 20 things. Write down 20 things that are important to you and just start living it. Start thinking about it. Start talking about it. And little changes will come. You've been listening to Thrive by Jen with Jennifer Zellop and Dr. Pat Basili. Join us monthly to train your body, mind, and soul to operate as one. Because when you thrive, you shine on all levels and you can accomplish anything. For more information on how to excel down to your deepest being, visit thrivebygen.com. And stay tuned for the newest Thrive by Jen on the Dr. Pat Show Network and Transformation Talk Radio. The preceding audio was via a Skype call.